Hi everyone, this is Miss Emily and I have another new book for you today. So this one is called All the Places to Love and this book is an extra special one to share with your mom and dad. Um, so if you're celebrating Mother's Day today or sometime this week, this is a really, really wonderful book to sit together um, and to sit and listen to together. So I hope that you're having a wonderful time. Um, I send lots of love out to all the moms out there and I hope that you get a moment to relax and just enjoy a really beautiful story today. On the day I was born, my grandmother wrapped me in a blanket made from the wool of her sheep. She held me up in the open window so that when I, what I heard first was the wind. What I saw first were all the places to love. The valley, the river falling down over rocks, the hilltop where the blueberries grow. My grandfather was painting the barn, and when he saw me, he cried. He carved my name, Eli, on a rafter beside his name and grandmother's name and the names of my papa and mama. And if you look real close right here, you can see his name, E-L-I, spells Eli. Mama carried me on her shoulders before I could walk through the meadows and hay fields the cows watched us and the sheep scattered. The dogs ran, looking back with sly smiles. When the grass was high, only their tails showed. When I was older, Papa and I plowed the fields. Where else is soil so sweet, he said. Once Papa and I lay down in the field holding hands and the birds surrounded us. Ruckus, black grackles, red wings, crows in the dirt that swaggered like pirates. And when we left, Papa put a handful of dirt in his pocket. I did too. My grandmother loved the river, river best of all the places to love. That sound, like a whisper, she said, gathering in pools where trout flashed like jewels in the sunlight. Grandmother sailed little bark boats down river to me with messages. I love you, Eli, one said. So there's the tree bark, and there's a stick and a piece of paper that says, I love you, Eli. So that's her little message that she sent down the, the river. We jumped from rock to rock, across the river to where the woods began, where bunchberry grew under the pine needle path and trillium bloomed. Under the beech tree was a soft, rounded bed where a deer had slept. The, the bed was warm when I touched it. When spring rains came and the, the meadow turned to marsh, cattails stood like guards and killdeers called. Ducks nested by marsh marigolds and the old turtle, his shell all worn, no matter how slow, still surprised me. Sometimes we climbed to the place Mama loved best, with our blueberry buckets and a chair for my grandmother, to the blueberry barren where no trees grew, the sky an arm's length away, where ma marsh hawks skimmed over the land, and bears came to eat fruit, and wild turkeys left footprints for us to find, like messages. Where else, said my Mama, can I see the sunrise on one side and the sunset on the other? My grandfather's barn is sweet smelling and dark and cool. Leather harnesses hang like paintings against old wood and hay dust floats like gold in the air. Grandfather once lived in the city and once he lived by the sea, but the barn is the place he loves most. Where else, he says, can the soft sound of cows chewing make all the difference in the world? Today we wait. Him sitting in a wooden slat chair and me on the hay. Until much later, my grandmother holds up a small bundle in the open window, wrapped in a blanket made from the wool of her sheep, and my grandfather cries. Together we carve the name Sylvie in the rafter, besides the beside the names of grandfather, 
grandfather and grandmother and my mama and papa and me. My sister is born. And if you look up close here, you can see the name Sylvie. It's a little hard to see, but it says S-Y-L-V-I-E. Someday I might live in the city. Someday I might live by the sea. But soon I will carry Sylvie on my shoulders through the fields. I will send her messages down river in small boats, and I will watch her at the top of the hill, trying to touch the sky. I will show her my favorite place, the marsh, where ducklings follow their mother like tiny tumbles of leaves. All the places to love are here, I'll tell her, no matter where you may live. Where else, I will say, does an old turtle crossing the path make all the difference in the world? And there's the turtle. The end. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me for that beautiful book today. I hope you're having a really wonderful time together, and I look forward to sharing another book with you next time. Bye!